In a bimolecular gas phase, collision-based offenses are considered especially heinous. In Siever 205, the dedicated chemists who investigate these vicious reactions are members of an elite squad known as the Physical Chemistry Unit. These are their stories. Orban, where were you on fall break? Disneyland. A likely story. Last fall break, Nikki and Kelly decided to take advantage of the day off, and they went to Disneyland. It was all going great until they collided. This may, have, may be attributed to a very busy day at Disneyland. This analogy can be further applied to bimolecular gas phases. Under gas laws, certain conditions like high number of moles, high pressure, and high temperature can increase the chances of a collision. This was described mathematically speaking through collision frequency and time of flight, which state how many collisions a molecule undergoes in a unit of time and the inverse. In the beginning of the semester, we learned the kinetic model of gases, which state A, a gas consists of molecules in random ceaseless motion. B, the size of the molecule is neg negligible in the sense that the diameter of the molecule is significantly smaller than the distance traveled between collisions. And C, the molecules do not interact except during collisions. Now let's elaborate further on that last point. Anna Patino, what is collision theory? Simple. Um, it's when the atoms of um, an element are forced by the gravity, the pull of gravity, obviously, <laughs> to collide with one another to form a spark that, okay, uh, you know, the spark, gas, gasoline, whatever. Um, yep. Yeah. Yep. So. <laughs> nice try, Anna, but maybe you should stick to accounting. Mm -hmm. Collision can go in two ways as seen in the image. If the collision is how the textbook puts it as insufficiently vigorous, then the molecules will just simply bounce off of each other unchanged. But if the collision is sufficiently vigorous as seen in B, then the molecules will react. A way to further explain this is to look at a reaction profile. Here is a reaction profile which we're pretty used to seeing from our previous classes, so we might as well see it in a more visual sense. Okay, so the way we can think about this is like a car getting over a hill, and react, uh, in order to see this in a reaction, we would consider A going to B, to make it simple. And so the, on this side, we're on A, and the product we're forming is B. And in order to get, o get to B, we need to for get over the activation energy. to form a product. And so the way this is seen in the kinetic theory of gases is the molecules will collide with a certain amount of kinetic energy, but if there's not enough kinetic energy, they'll just bounce off of each other. But if there's a kinetic energy that goes over this activation energy, we're able to form a product and have a reaction occur. Now let's look at the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. At different temperatures, we're gonna have different speeds and more frequent collisions at a higher temperature. Therefore, more collisions will take place and the reaction will more likely overcome that activation energy. What did we learn in this video? First, we covered the kinetic model of gases, which talks about the three principles. First, that the gas molecules are always in ceaseless motion. Second, that their diameter is negligible to the distance they travel, so we only consider the distance they travel. And third, they don't interact unless during collisions. Then we talked about um, how there is a minimum kinetic energy that the gas molecules must have in order to have a reaction. If they don't have that minimum energy, they're just going to repel and bounce off of each other. And then lastly, we talked about the Boltzmann Maxwell distribution over here about how at different temperatures we're going to have different speeds of the molecules and then have diff uh, more collisions occurring. Thanks for watching. Thanks for helping me solve the case on collision theory. The case is now closed. Now get back to reading your PICA books.